She has gone as we agreed, so I didn't include her. What? Ngozi, come. You can have this. Where about you? I'll go and get my toy. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Rita, let me see you in the kitchen now. Why didn't you include Ngozi's food? I thought she would have gone by this morning. Anyway, there's still food in the pot. Rita, is it possible for her to leave this house without you knowing? Or have you not been seen around the house since morning? Come to think of it, I never told you she was leaving. You said so at the park. That was when I did not know her plight. <laughs> well, I don't know her plight. Even not that. The fact that you still see her around the house should have told you that I allowed it. It's only a person that does not know where she's coming from. That will never tell where he or she is going. Rita. Two years ago, you were in your worst situation than hers. I was staying with Lovett in this house, and with open hands we welcomed you. Now, the least you can do is to extend that same hospitality to another person. Thank you for reminding me. Be reminded also that it's only a fool that climbs up the ladder. And when he climbs up there, he pushes the ladder away so that no one else can climb up there. But someday, because nothing is permanent, he would need that same ladder to climb. Find yourself something else to eat. Or better still, dish another one for yourself. I am eating your dished food. Excuse me. I take exception to being disturbed at work. I am sorry, but I tried to call you. Your phone has been switched off since last night. I'm sorry. So what can I do for you? Please, I want you to come back home. Whatever I did to have made you leave, I'll correct it. <clears throat> okay, so let's start from here. Where is Ngozi? She should be in Lagos by now. Did you call her parents to know if she reached safely? I, I called them to tell them she was on her way, but they said they haven't heard from her. Now, shouldn't that be your preoccupation rather than coming to my office unannounced? I'm sorry, Chris. I need to talk to you. As for Ngo she will be fine. How would you know? Call your sister. Call her now. Hello? Yes, Effie. Any news about Ngozi yet? See, her father has really put me in a tight corner concerning her matter. But she left yesterday. Eh, yeah, yes, since yesterday. All vehicles from Portaco have arrived yesterday and she's still nowhere to be found. 
See, if I'm really very concerned, now I'm worried. Eh? I hope nothing has happened to my daughter. I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. She has not reached Lagos. Now that should be your worry. Okay? Let me be. Let me be. Please. Please. It's okay. Let's just leave here. You talk to him some other time. Hmm? Listen, we are going out to do small runs. Runs? Business. We have uh, a little social business to attend. Business? Is it not late for office work? Uh, don't worry, it's just business. Um, there's food in the house, right? Yes. Okay, good. You just feed yourself whenever you're hungry. And um, don't wait up for us. We have the spare key to the house. Okay. All right. So see you. All right. Bye. Bye. Please do not open my door if anybody knocks. If you don't know the person. Okay. Good. No problem. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thanks for calling. I've been thinking about you. No. No. You, of course. Chris, Ngozi will get home. Can you forget about Ngozi for a while and come back? Maybe you... Hello? Hello, Chris. Oh, mommy, I had so much fun with Bayo. It's a free shopping. He got me this. Mommy. Mommy, is anything the matter? Ada, how can you ask what the matter is? When your sister is missing. She was supposed to have been back to Lagos two days ago. And she has not. This really worries me because I don't know what your father would do if he gets to know. And you should be worried too. Mommy, in as much as I worry too, but you should be more worried about Ungozi's homecoming and what it will do to both of us. Bayo will marry Ungozi and you and I will go with daddy to the village. Mommy. Mommy. I will advise you 
to concern yourself with a quick marriage to Bio so that you and I can move into Bio's house and Daddy and Ngozi can retire to the village. I'm going to put her good. I need to find her. I need to know what is going on there. You going to Port Harcourt. Huh. <sighs> yes. First thing tomorrow morning. Only, only, do you think going there is the best decision? Ada. In as much as I do not want to retire to the village anytime soon, I care for my daughter's safety. Her well-being is my concern right now. What do you think your father would say if he finds out that we planned uh, Ungos' exit to favor your marriage to Bayo? Do you think he will let you marry him? Why don't you stop thinking about yourself alone? Uh, all right. Okay. No problem. Safe journey to Port Harcourt. Well done, no? Thank you. Can't remember the last time this living room was wet. <laughs> I, I didn't know when you returned last night. My dear, I came in early this morning. Okay. Would you like to eat something? I fried plantain and eggs. You did? Yes. Wow, that's nice. Um, thanks. I would eat later. Okay. Mm. Oh. Um, Ngozi. Yes? Do you have a boyfriend? No. I've never had until Bayo came to ask for my hand in marriage. But that was before I discovered I was I was pregnant. I told you all about it. Ah, yeah, 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 you did. Um, come. Cousin, you need a man in your life. A man you can run to any time you need help. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, men are a distraction and they only want one thing from a girl. That can only be if you do not know what you want from them. If you know what you want from them, you get it from them. And give them what they want. So doing, everyone would be happy. But I don't think I have anything to give to anybody. You are a beautiful girl. It's a beautiful body. That is all what men want. And we are ready to pay for it at all cost. You're not saying anything. Look, some people have the opportunity to work, and some have money so they don't even stress themselves by working. But people like us, we didn't get the opportunity to go to school and we cannot work. So we do everything to survive by using what we have to get what we want. That is our body. That sounds like prostitution. No, prostitution is a sin. Would you call me a prostitute? Do I live in an hotel and sell my body there? No! I stay here in my house and do my thing. Look, if any man invites me to an occasion, he pays for my time. And if he wants to sleep with me, he will also have to pay for it. That is how I take care of myself. And I have to keep taking care of myself. And all of this costs money. You call that prostitution. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Let me get let me get it. Okay. Hey, you beautiful. Good morning. Hi. Tamara, what's this? Is she one of us? You you know? Uh Ngozi, this is Boboyo. Boboyo is our friend in the house. This is Ngozi. She's mm. my friend. Wow. Nice She's to so, meet you. You too. She's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, you're excused. Ah, me. Ah. Ah. Um, is she coming to the party tonight? Uh, Never mind. I have an invitation for you. Whitey. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, when is he paying on it? When? Mm, he's paying on your arrival. You just make sure you come with this and Gozi. Okay? Okay. I will come pick you guys later tonight. Most of you are quite capable of getting out of here within an hour. What's the problem? You don't know what to do? We do, sir. We need money at this point to get basic information and also to talk to people that are right here. Where is the one? You have to stop by your house to bring your checkbook. What have you guys been doing since yesterday? Boma and I went to see the lawyer. Hello, sir. Try for keeping you waiting. I had to go to your house and get the check. to be out of here by tomorrow. This will settle anybody. And if more is needed, let me know. we get there. Wow. Whoa. Those white men pay so well. <laughs> I know this man. He's Italian. See, long time ago, I attended a party in his house. <laughs> and he pays well. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ngozi, have you made up your mind to come with us? Um, it's just an ordinary party. The, the truth of the matter is I've never attended a party before. There is always a first time. Besides, you meet interesting people that would affect your life positively tomorrow. Please, maybe next time to have a better it. Huh? I well, I don't know why I think you should attend this particular outing with us tonight. You know, I just I just have this feeling that it is good for you. I don't even have party shoes or clothes. That is not a problem. Is that what you, you try to say since I just see? Look, all these are lovely dresses. <sighs> Look at this. You can try this out. Um, yes. Uh, Look at this. This would go with your complexion. You will love it. Just try them out, eh? Try them out. Let's see. Look, this, these are shoes. You can even if it's not your your size, we will have um shoe pad to it to to size you can just make your choice. Wait, wait now, let's see. <laughs> okay, just do it. Let me get my phone from the pad. Okay, okay. okay. You can try all that so I will I will I will okay. okay. 
Samara. Yes. Can I have a word with you? Any problem? <laughs> well, it depends on how you look at it. So, what is it? Tamara, I was very surprised when you brought in a total stranger into this house to live with us. Someone we do not know a background or whatever. See, initially you said it was for a few days. And then you later said she's here to stay for as long as she wants. You even want me to cook for her. See, the most shocking aspect of it is that I heard you back in your room asking her to join our business. Tamara, why do you expose our business like this? Rita. Rita. When I met you stranded out there and brought you in here, when you were thrown out for sleeping with your madame's dog, do I know you from Adam? When I introduced this business to you, do you know anything about it? Wait, this is not my house anymore. Do you contribute to the rent payment? What is your problem? My case is different. And how is your case different? If anything, Rita, your case is worse. Rita, you did not only sleep with my daughter. You stole their money. You are a common thief. See, that's what you are. And you yet preach to me about someone else. Look, Ngozi is just an innocent child who needs help. This girl reminds me of myself when I lost my parents. And I had no one to take care of me. <sighs> Rita, what is your problem? If I was to choose between you both, I would choose her. Yes! And I would leave her if I were you. Rita, leave that girl alone. It's a last warning to you. Leave her alone! as we left the NDLA office. That's your business. I have my business to attend to and I hate wasting my time. You should have called me when you got here. Please, I'm sorry about it. Shall we go see? Um, Adam's case is a tight one. In the sense that he was caught red-handed in that house and the ball is testifying against him. It's a big problem not forgetting that the NDLA boss has for so many years been looking for an opportunity like this to nail him. But you can do something, Barista, so that the boss can come out today. Listen, I hate the way you talk. Every word from your mouth is wrong and wrongly put forward. So, I would prefer you keep quiet. Let me do good, Boma. Sorry, Barista. Someone needs to teach Reza of manners. We're trying to find a way forward. Tell us, what do we do? If this case goes to court, Adams is finished. The only way is to go on orthodox. You guys should ensure that the star witness does not testify. Ensure that the NDLA boss changes his mind about prosecuting this case. Do so. How is that possible? We all know the NDLA boss is a hard nut to crack. I know. But we can do without him. How is that? Explain. I don't understand. Basically, that boy, Tamuno, holds the aces. If he refuses to testify, the NDLA boss has no case. So, if you can get that boy, fine. If you can't, 
Adams will go to jail. I understand. Um, excuse me, gentlemen. Thank you very much, Barrister. Say hello to your wife. So, what do you think? What is our next step? I'm trying to think. What is there to think? We both heard what the lawyer said. He said we should find a way and get to the NDLEA boss and that terminal board. And when you get them, what happens? Good. We talk to them like the boss said or eliminate them. Eliminate? Eliminate. You see the way you talk sometimes that irritates everybody. You think you can just go around eliminating people like that? Don't you have any regard for life? Don't you value life? Okay, what do you propose? And that should always be your statement. If I ask for your opinion, and if I don't, you keep your mouth shut. Okay, while you work it out, I will use the rest of Yes, Boma. I just finished talking to the lawyer. He advised us to try and dissuade the NDLA boss and the star witness from taking up the case. Don't even do it. If you persuade them, how then does Adams remain in jail? Use your head. There's nothing else to do except to go along. I don't like this. Listen, Boma. If Adams comes out from that custody, and kills me. My ghost will haunt you. I am warning you. Uh, don't worry, babe. I'll keep you informed of what we're doing. Alright, love you. What next, Boma? We're going to see the barrister Jaja. Barrister Jaja. Yes. So, you guys are lucky that I'm around the neighborhood. So why do you want to see me? We need your help. Is this supply to drop me? Huh? All right, I would have to search you guys. No problem. I asked your boss to stop peddling drugs in my territory. 
You know what he said to me? I'm not resting and jelling to stop him. And now that I have him where I want him, after chasing him for all those years to catch him, you're asking me for a deal? Look, if you drop the case against him, he'll leave your territory. <laughs> Can a fish stay out of water? It's not possible. We will pay Mr. Harmon. Ask him price. How dare you insult me, my friend? You think you can bribe me? Who do you think you are to bribe me? Huh? I will have you arrested for even attempting to bribe me. And you know what that means? Oh, I see. Oh, because I agreed to, to, to meet with you guys, huh? Instead of arresting you for being an accomplice with Adams, All right. that's why you're having the guts to talk to me about bribe? We're very sorry, sir. Look, listen to me, you two. You guys can do whatever you want. Your guy is going to jail. I hope you have good lawyers. Caught. Damn it! Damn it! How many times in one hour do I have to tell you to keep your mouth shut? Look at it! You've destroyed everything! Why did you have to mention bribe? You never think, Razor. Get in the car, let's go. Yes. Come in. What's on your mind? No, I just want to find out about uh, Adam's case. Uh, his people are really, you know, desperate to release him. We are good to go to court day after tomorrow. Are you sure? You know how many years it took us to nail him? We can't afford to fail. My own end is secured. All you have to do is provide the star witness and we nail him. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, that's good to hear. That's all. all right, uh, talk to you later. Uh. Ah, uh, Tamano, how are you today? I'm fine. Are you still on fire to complete what we have started? Of course, Alaji. I'm with you all the way. In fact, I was about to call you to ask you what next. Good. Well, uh, I just called you to let you know that the case comes up the day after tomorrow. Please make yourself available, okay? Okay, no problem, Alaji. I'm with you. All right, all right bye. Sorry I took so much time. Oh, it's alright. So, Let's how go. do we go? I suggest we go to the hospital. Spend some time begging Chris. I'll be feeling in will show up there to contact him. Since he's the only person she knows here in the city apart from you. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. But first I need to get to my office. I have not reported for two days. Okay. Let's get to your office first. Then to the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Ah, 
but this is nice. Take a 360 maybe. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, it is long. Too long for the occasion. Um, have you tried all this? Um, why don't you... Uh, nah. Yes! This is it, baby. Yeah! Try it! Come on! Can't you see the lens and the color? Try it. Come on. Relax. How do you carry on as if I'm telling you to do something that is wrong? It's just that I'm not comfortable. I've never been to a party before. So how can you judge if you haven't been there before? How? This life is beautiful. 